Hey, hi there, you guys, Aquarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Aquarius, I really want to thank you guys for the support of my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, the Holographic Edition, one Love Oracle card, and one Lover's Oracle card. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This isn't the Holographic Edition. This is uh, antique cards that I use to show you up close. They're big. This is the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Mars in Capricorn. This is a card of collaboration, cooperation, making plans. This could have to do with employment and being highly skilled. It's synergy, people coming together. They're trying to make something happen, like setting a foundation. It's teamwork and planning, assistance, contribution. It's support from teamwork and building a solid foundation. Building up a stable footing. This is a partnership card, building together. It's people under the same roof. Could be a workplace, a classroom, roommates, business customers, clients, mentors, critics. It's okay to take critics as teachers. They are really trying to help you. You might be rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. These are projects that begin manifestation and using your knowledge to turn a profit. Yet there's still some more to learn yet. These are priorities. Priorities are being established. Plans being put into action with initial successes. And there is success through your effort. It's approval and recognition and a sense of achievement, and it's well deserved. These are new projects that bring in luck. This is a lucky card. It's efforts and plans and practical solutions. This could be a specialist. It's skilled labor, checks and payments. Could be asking for advice, looking at details, consulting. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Aquarius. And here is your card, the King of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is someone who is discerning. They're masterful at the words that they use. Communication is the key factor. This is someone that is objective and logical, intelligent and fair. They're blunt and abrupt. Now in these, this position, the crossing position, these energies are challenged and restricted. This could be someone that's being wishy-washy. They may be suspending judgment, making biased decisions. They might not be playing by the rules. They may be wanting to break some rules. Or they could even be using their words destructively. They can be silver-tongued. They can even play mind games in this position. This can also represent if someone has a lawsuit, you'll need to put an end to it. It's This is someone that could be dismisses, dismissive of those who cannot complete compete intellectually. They can also be distrustful, suspicious. 
The Three of Pentacles with the King of Swords is a professional collaboration. Could be with someone that is the best in the business. It's using their head to make plans. Now, Aquarius, there's no majors in your reading. There's not even an ace. So these are just everyday passing temporary life experiences. There's nothing long-term or major here. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Aquarius. The Page of Wands. Fire Energy. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. Pages are always trigger points. This is the beginning of something that fills you with enthusiasm. It can be helpful information or ideas. This can be a messenger. The beginning of something. Something new, a new project, a new love affair, a new phase in someone's life. This can be the bearer of glad tidings. Could be about something you want to achieve. It can represent a proclamation, an announcement, an invitation, a firm decision about a question. This someone, it, they're a beginner. It is immature energy. And it's standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction. This is the fool's little brother. But there can be a lack of follow-up. We always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express who we, who we really truly are. It's exploring. The beginning of event. It's being intrigued, hopeful, and inspired. The Three of Pentacles with the Page of Wands is a communication about reaping the wards from your skilled labor. It could be promising to perform good work. It's new ideas about collaboration. Your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Aquarius, you've got the Nine of Wands, fire energy. This is moon in Sagittarius. Well, I'm an Aquarius sun, and my moon is in Sagittarius. So I would also watch this, because for my moon sign, representing feelings, the subconscious. The moon in Sagittarius is the lord of great strength, and nines represent culmination, completion, a job is done. This is strength and determination and perseverance. It's strength and waiting and never giving up. It's being solitary and suspicious, on guard, putting up barriers, blocking. There's strength to overcome trouble when confronting difficulties. And now this is the end of a cycle, and it's victory through courage and endurance. It's the pause in the struggle. There's preparedness and strength in reserve, but you have your boundaries up. This is an eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. It's hanging in there, and you're in a very strong position. It's a victory through courage and endurance. There's restraint and tension. Maybe you feel there's a need for a vacation, but you're refusing to buckle under pressure, yet feeling hurt and leery. This is the wounded warrior of the deck. This is a test of faith with a battle you are fighting, but you're standing your ground. And through effort and determination, you defend and protect what's yours. Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands is the strength to make something happen. It's holding in there with what you are working with or on. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Aquarius. The Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is an emotional offer, a conquest. All knights are in conquest. 
This can be the power to create change. It can also be travel or action. It's the coming or going of a matter. It's a card of romance and a soul connection. There's heightened emotions, sincere emotions, and following your heart. The Knight of Cups is romantic and they're looking for love. They're an emotional, spiritual seeker and they're full of intensity and idealism. And they can be impulsive and they follow their heart and dreams. They chase their vision. They're full of conflicts emotionally. They can be fickle. They could be an artist or a flirt. And yet they can be emotionally unstable, quickly fluctuating from feeling high to low. And they can be very loving and passionate, but their feelings can change quickly. This is someone that's being dreamy and romantic, courtly, gallant, courteous. They're sensitive and poetic. This is someone that is humane and self-sacrificing. They're spiritually directed. They could be offering gifts. These can represent happy emotions and pleasant surprises, even travel that gives joy and meaning. This can be a proposal. Three of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups is making plans to offer sincere emotions. It's being gallant and cooperative. It can be a clear plan or a vision to create a new foundation. It can also represent business travels. The King of Swords with the Page of Wands is thinking about a new passionate idea or adventure. Could be communicating ideas. King of Swords with the Nine of Wands is speaking your truth and standing your ground. It's not contacting a strong person because of fear and a desire to keep yourself in control. King of Swords with the Knight of Cups is trying to find the confidence to communicate your own truth. It's valuing your art and creativity. Someone may be too shy to express how they feel. Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands is holding back your excitement and enthusiasm. Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups is receiving a lot of attention. Often it can be romantic. It's a hopeful, emotional feelings that you want to offer or move forward with. The Nine of Wands with the Knight of Cups is healing past trauma. These are philosophical issues. It's holding on to emotional potential, and this can also represent someone who is a counselor. Here's your love oracle card from Island Time Wellness. Addiction. You could be dealing with someone that has an addiction. They could be codependent, obsessing, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. The Nine of Wands is also blocking and restraining. Addiction. Codependent. Obsessing. Possession. Controlling. Has a block and restraint. Here's your Lover's Oracle card by Tony Carmine Slorino. There's a couple here. There's the yin-yang sign. Uh, it looks like they're looking through a keyhole, or he, or someone is. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing, just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing, just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love 
and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.